It's quite the find. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, we are going to talk about plush. I know I've done a few plush videos, and this one is going to be specifically about smaller plush, because good things come in small packages. We don't necessarily want to skip over small plush, because many of them can be valuable, and I'm going to talk about some of the more valuable ones today. There'll be a few different levels of price points, but definitely ones you want to pick up, um, and you can make profit on them. So... Starting off, this is a really good one to find. Now, this is from the 60s, so this is kind of old, but here's a tiny little lobster. He's made by Stife. You might not associate him with Stife right off the bat just by seeing this guy, but he is definitely worth picking up. Not too long ago, I found a small crab that the Manhattan Toy Company made, and I made a lot of money selling that guy, and he was maybe about like this big, so... There's definitely some money in vintage uh, sea life. <laughs> so yeah, keep your eyes open for that Stife Lobster. You never know. It could be at an estate sale near you. Next, we're going to talk about um, a character called Budgie the Helicopter. Now, I don't know much about Budgie. He was from the 90s, so I'm kind of a little surprised that I don't. I don't know if he was from a book, maybe. But either way, uh, Budgie sells... Uh, around $34 should you find him. And what's great about small plush is they're often really cheap. So you never know. You could find Budgie for a dollar or 50 cents. But yes, be on the lookout for Budgie the helicopter. Next, this is Kenny from South Park. I just want to mention real quick that that South Park plush that are vintage of any kind are great to pick up. They're great sellers. They sell for good amounts of money. You want to look for South Park stuff of any kind that's plush. And this little Kenny, this teeny little guy, he's actually one of those hanging window plush that were popular in the 90s. People always had them suctioned to their cars. Um, those are going for around $20. So not a huge huge profit but again the bigger plush carry even more profit but even the little ones are still worth picking up if i could get one for 50 cents i would sell it for 20 dollars all day long next we have snuzzles the elephant and this elephant is from play school and sells for 200 dollars I am not sure exactly what is so special about this elephant, but you want to pick him up. He must be very rare and hard to find. Maybe people are trying to relive their childhood and have that favorite childhood stuffed animal. Hard to say, but people have all different reasons for buying vintage plush. And if you can find this one, it is definitely worth getting. Next, we're going to talk about a character from a book that I do remember, uh, The Magic School Bus. This is a beanie, actually. There's this misconception that all beanies are worthless because the Thai beanie babies are, for the most part, worthless. Not all of them, but just the majority of them. Um, but there are beanies from other brands that sell very well. Uh, and this one is from the Magic School Bus. As I said, it sells for $27. This is Liz the Lizard. Next... We're going to talk Bear in the Big Blue House. I have talked about Bear in the Big Blue House on previous videos, and I'm going to remind you about it again, just in case you missed it before. But yeah, the smaller characters, it doesn't need to be the main character. The smaller characters are great sellers too. And this is Tutter the Mouse from Bear in the Big Blue House. I believe this is a beanie also. Um, this guy sells for $43. So if you see a little blue mouse... He may be d worth picking up. And there's other variations of him as well um, that sell for similar prices. So it doesn't have to be this exact one necessarily for it to be a good seller. Next, we're going to talk about something else that I have mentioned in previous videos. I've talked about Lisa Frank 
And when it comes to those Lisa Frank items that are better sellers, they're plush, tend to sell very well. And even these small little teeny ones, this is um, a small black bunny that sells for $129.99. So this is kind of rare and rare amongst even the plush. So might not be super easy to find, but could look very unassuming. You know, I could see Goodwill having it for 99 cents just sitting in there in the plush basket. So should you see that, you are going to want to pick it up for sure. Because who doesn't want a hundred ninety nine? Sorry, hundred and twenty nine ninety nine dollar sale. I know I do. Next, we're gonna go back in time again to the sixties. This toy is called Billy the Buzzard, and there's some other similar creatures that look like this from the sixties that are plush, that are small, that sell at similar price points. But I just singled out Billy the Buzzard because I thought he looked really cool. So. He sells for, he has sold for $162.16. So that's, that's a desirable item right there. And again, doesn't look like anything flashy or expensive, but he is worth picking up for. If you see any of his friends that look kind of similar, you know, you definitely want to, you know, couldn't hurt to do a Google Lens search. Next item I am not sure if I have mentioned this before, so forgive me if I have, but Vintage Kitty Surprise, the, the babies, and Puppy Surprise too, the babies sell for really good prices, and there are more rare variations of the babies, and that's what you've got here. These are some Vintage Kitty Surprise babies, a pair that sold for $158.25. So even if you find one of the two of these, you can make some good money on them. There may be one that's more valuable than the other, but but yeah, in general, they're good to pick up because I've sold a big lot of them. Like I just got a whole bunch of them in a, in a Ziploc bag at Goodwill once, and I made a bunch of money on that. I don't remember exactly what, but it was definitely worth my time and more than the $5 I paid for it. So you want to make sure that if you see vintage Puppy Kitty Surprise babies, to pick them up and especially be on the lookout for the the variations that are more rare next i have talked about veggie tales before and i'd like to highlight this small plush of larry the cucumber he's a superhero here and uh 29.97 is what he sold for so again just kind of emphasizing the veggie tales and you know veggie tales plush are no exception you want to pick those up even the plain ones I've sold before for good money. So, but yeah, the, you know, slightly fancier outfits that they're wearing make them a little more desirable. Next, we're going to talk Disney. We're going to talk about a Disney store beanie. There actually are quite a few Disney store beanies that carry value, perhaps better than the Thai ones. So this one in particular is the Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland. I believe the whole set, if you have it, can if you you know can sell as a lot for really good money. I know my mom collected these. I, I probably even have this guy at her house. Um, so he is forty dollars. That's what he sells for consistently and frequently. So he's he's a good thing to keep your eyes open for. And again, these are beanies, so they're they're small, small plush. And last but not least, a popular plush that people like to pick up if they can get for cheap. I, I, I'm always on the lookout for him. I have one myself that I, that I bought, but I decided to keep it because I kind of fell in love with him. But I would definitely like to find more to resell. But this is uh, my pet monster. I don't know if you remember back in the 90s, but the, they had these little clip-on plush with these kind of, you know, weighted hands that would, you know, it could like hold on to papers or whatever. But this is a My Pet Monster clip-on plush, and it sold for $57. So, is it, so again, this is something very small that sells, you know, decent prices, and it's a popular character, and it just goes to show that My Pet Monster, no matter what it is sells for a decent value. 
And that completes the list. I hope you all enjoyed it. And hopefully I will have a special kind of different video next week, but stay tuned. It might be two weeks from now. It just depends on, on how long it's going to be. But yeah, I have, have a special video coming up in the next few weeks, we'll say. I don't want to guarantee a specific time. Maybe next week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks. It's hard to say. <laughs> but in the meantime, this is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next week.